Yo guys, what is going on? In today's GTA Online video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the Mark II weapons that I actually use. I will also be showing you the attachments. Some of the attachments will definitely give you guys an advantage over online players and NPCs. And at the end of the video, I will be showing you as well my custom weapon loadout. For example, the weapons that I hide off my weapon wheel and obviously the weapons that I show. But with all that out of the way guys, let's jump straight into it. So now we've just entered our terabyte and we're just going to be coming over to the weapon workshop. If you guys don't actually have this in your terabyte and you don't have this in any other vehicles, for example the Avenger, then one simple thing that you can do is literally just have the casino heist all set up with the finale there and then you will be able to actually use a weapon workshop which is in the arcade and down the stairs. So now back to the terabyte, I do actually have every Mark II weapon in the game. So now I'm going to be showing you guys which ones I would actually recommend. The ones I recommend are the ones that I'm going to be using the most. I won't be showing the Heavy Revolver Mark II in this video as I did show it in my previous video with all the attachments I use on that to make it a one shot kill but we're going to be starting off with a special carbine Mark II. For the magazine on this weapon I like to just run with the extended clip. I haven't really tried anything else with it but I recommend the extended clip as I prefer having more ammo. Next we're going to go down to flashlight. This is very optional, I just have it on anywhere but you literally don't need this on your weapon. Now we have the scopes and for the scopes I like to run with the large scope. I just feel like this gives me the best accuracy with this gun and keep the stability and recoil at bay. Now we're moving on to the muzzles and for the muzzles I like to run with the suppressor. I like to use a suppressor on a couple of my guns as it does come in handy when doing them stealthy missions. Now we're going to move on to the grips and obviously for the grip there's only one option so that's going to be the option and now we're going to move to the barrels and for the barrels you just want to use the heavy barrel i think this helps with recoil a bit as well so definitely use that if you're going to use it then obviously you can add some tints and everything to your weapon to make it look very nice but it can cost a lot so watch out for that we're now going to be moving down onto the bullpup rifle mark ii i do use this weapon from time to time it has very similar stats to the advanced rifle in this game so it is a strong reliable rifle and starting off with the magazines i like to use the armor piece and rounds for this one mainly because I don't use it often but then it's always there if I do need it now we're going to move on to the flashlight and I do have a flashlight on this as well although they're not really needed at all moving on to the scopes I'm going to be using the holographic sight for this as from time to time I do like to use first person with a holographic sight but not very often now we're going to be moving down to the barrels and for the barrels I like to use the heavy barrel once again now for the muzzles I do actually have a suppressor on it at the moment but I'm actually going to change that right now to a split end muzzle break. This is just simply because my special carbine Mark II actually has the suppressor on. And also down to the fact that I actually have arm piercing rounds with this weapon. Moving down onto grip, we're going to just be using grip. And that is it for the bullpup rifle Mark II. Now the next weapon is going to be the pump shotgun Mark II. This weapon is just a joke to deal with online. Literally any vehicle or anyone coming near you, they're dead. But only with these attachments, what I'm going to show you right now. So starting off with the ammo types, we're going to be using the explosive slugs this literally just ends anyone who comes near you it suits this weapon so so well and trust me guys the explosive rounds from this one are so much better than the actual like heavy sniper rounds with the explosive slugs or explosive rounds even it's such a god weapon nothing really comes close to this in close quarter combat but we're going to be moving down to the flashlight guys and for this one i actually don't have the flashlight on it obviously i finally decided not to waste my money on a flashlight now for the scopes we're going to be using the medium scope because this is going to give us more range with this weapon and essentially it allows you to lock onto people further away not 100 percent sure on the distance of that but it works very very well now for muzzles i like to use just the muzzle brake please do not use a suppressor on this weapon and it just looks so horrible i actually can't stand the look of it it's just so god but then obviously you can just put your liveries on and your tints and that is it for the pump shotgun mark 2 we're now going to be moving down to a personal favorite of mine which is the marksman rifle mark 2 first of all for the ammo types i recommend just an extended clip i've actually experimented with this weapon with the ammo types and i've used incendiary rounds i think it was they're not actually that bad with this weapon but you barely get any ammo so you'll just be coming back here every so often just to fill that ammo back up so i just like to stick the default on this and go with the extended clip once again i don't see a point in the flashlight so i keep it off now for the scopes you could use a holographic sight i have done it before and tried it out it's not too bad this is going to allow you to lock onto people with the marksman rifle but i just prefer the zoom scope once again it's down to personal preference as well we're also going to be running grip with this as grip is never a bad thing for any weapon really and once again for the barrels we're going to be using the heavy barrel you guys are probably noticing a trend right now it's literally 
literally every weapon put the heavy barrel on put the grip on both of these two attachments are just very beneficial for any weapon really so i 100 percent recommend them moving down we have the pistol mark 2 i don't really use this weapon i mean maybe once or twice i'd use it but i'd never use it online or anything so we're going to skip over that one now for the smg mark 2 we're also going to skip over this one as i don't really use it often either in my opinion the ap pistol is 100% better than this and that's not even Mark 2. With those two weapons out of the way we're going to move on to the Assault Rifle Mark 2. I do use this from time to time, actually more often than the Bullpup Rifle Mark 2. So starting off with the ammo types we're going to be just using the extended clip. I have tried to use the full metal jacket rounds before but I just found myself running out of ammo. Once again we're going to be using the grip as well. I also have a flashlight on this one. For scopes I use the holographic sight and for muzzles I use the split end muzzle brake. And finally for barrels I do use the heavy barrel again and that is the the assault rifle mark 2 and now we're going to be moving down to another favorite of mine which is the carbine rifle mark 2 this gun is like a laser it's, just, it's very similar to the special carbine mark 2 but i do prefer the carbine rifle mark 2 because it's literally just like an og gun but starting off with the magazines we're just going to be using the extended clip as you can probably tell i don't really use the other ammo types very often with different guns now we're going to be moving down to the grip and we're going to be using grip with this now for the flashlight i do actually have a flashlight on this one once again not needed now moving Moving on to the scopes, I like to use a large scope on this as well. I think this gives me a little bit more range when using the weapon, but I don't recommend using first person with this scope sometimes, especially if you aim down sight as well. Now for the muzzles, I like to use the split end muzzle brake. On most of these weapons, it's either the split end muzzle brake or the suppressor. If you guys are following along, then it's up to you really. It's either the split end or the suppressor for me, I'd say. And once again, for the barrels, we're going to be using the heavy barrel. I mean, it's the only option once again, apart from the default barrel. But now we're going to be moving on to the next weapon. This weapon is just a god weapon as well, especially if like an enemy is like just a bit further away, but not too far away, so you can't really snipe them you definitely use this weapon it's very strong for the magazines we're just going to be using the extended clip once again we're also going to be using grip with this for the scopes we're going to be using the large scope and for the muzzles i like to run the split end muzzle brake on this and finally guys for the barrel i like to run the heavy barrel once again you guys are going to notice that literally every single gun i have mark ii is literally similar not much really changes i know the heavy barrels on literally most of my guns but now we're going to move down to the final weapon which is actually the sniper rifle mark ii we're going to be starting off with the magazines and personally i just prefer the extended clip it has a lot more ammo than the other clips i have actually tried other ammo types with this sniper obviously explosive rounds are very good as well but i just find myself getting more one shot kills on like online players with the extended clip or potentially the armor piercing rounds they definitely work best for me but now we're going to be moving down to the scopes and for the scopes i like to use the advanced scope a scope that i used to use a lot was actually the thermal scope but ever since some like quad lenses came out you can literally just do that and then use it as like a thermal scope anywhere and the advanced scope just looks so like nice i think i'm more used to it anyway so now moving down to the muzzles we're going to be actually using the suppressor the reason i have this suppressor on is because i think it just sounds better also i have noticed that i do sometimes get more one shot one kills with this and the suppressor doesn't actually affect any damage at all so not too bad in my opinion now for the barrels it's obviously going to be the heavy barrel once again i literally have this on everything and that is going to be it for all the guns now i'm going to be heading over to my office to actually show you my weapon wheel loadout now i'm pretty sure other places actually have this for example at mc clubhouse i think bunker has it as well and facility but i only remembered that it was in the office so i just went straight to the office so we're just going to open up this wall and and then when it lets us we're just going to press right on the d-pad for some reason it went a bit like laggy or glitchy and it didn't let me press a on anything we're going to be starting off with the melee weapons and for the melee weapons i like to show my knife my machete and my flashlight and also my stone hatchet the main melee weapon that you definitely want guys is the stone hatchet by far it's a one hit kill from pretty much anyone in the game and you can also get that rampage ability and now we're going to be moving down to the pistols the pistols i like to actually show on my weapon wheel are the pistol mark 2 the ap pistol pistol.50 the flare gun the heavy revolver mark 2 the double action revolver the open atomizer and the navy revolver once again out of all of these i definitely recommend the top two being 
the AP pistol and the Heavy Revolver Mark II. I'm pretty sure the machine pistol can be good, I mean maybe for a low level because it is, I'm pretty sure it's a DLC weapon as well so you can just buy that straight away. Now we're going to move on to the machine guns and the machine guns that I actually show on my weapon wheel are the Combat MG Mark II, the Gunsberg Sweeper and the Unholy Hellbringer. Now moving on to the rifles, the rifles I actually like to show for my weapon wheel are the Assault Rifle Mark II, the Carbine Rifle Mark II, the Advanced Rifle, the Special Carbine Mark II and finally the Bullpup Rifle Mark II. Now we're going to move down to the shotguns, there's not many shotguns I really like or really use that often apart from mainly these two what I've shown which is the pump shotgun mark 2 and the assault shotgun both of them shotguns are just head and shoulders above every other shotgun in the game now for sniper rifles you can literally just have them all shown because there's only three sniper rifles in the game I do in fact go ahead and hide my other sniper rifle the first one I think you unlock but that's entirely up to you guys now for the heavy weapons I like to show almost all of them for example I show the grenade launcher the RPG the minigun the homing launcher and that is it. I think yeah only three of them are not shown. One of them which I might show in the future would probably be the compact grenade launcher as it seems pretty reliable and just for the fact you can actually shoot it out of the cars and everything. But now we're just going to move on to the explosives and for the explosives I like to show the sticky bomb, the grenade and the proximity mine. I don't find myself using the others really very often so I just hide them. And remember guys you can always like change your uh, custom loadout when you come back here or anything. And if you wanted to use something that you've already hidden then you can always go into your interaction menu, go to inventory and then disable your custom loadout. But this is going to give you every single gun you own or if hidden or whatever so just be aware of that guys. Anyway that's going to wrap it up for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did be sure to leave a like as it shows your support for my channel. Also feel free to comment down below any suggestions you have for the next video. I do try and read every single comment and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with more GTA online content. Stay safe and thanks for watching.